safe. <laughs> yeah, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Now that I got myself a quote-unquote hard save checkpoint of sorts, we may now go ahead and do some side questing, despite the horrendous frame rate that seems to be plaguing the area. Heck yeah! <laughs> Alright, so inside Zora Hall, take a look-see around here, you'll be like, what the... Oh, where, where did all the Zoras go? What, what, what happened to this? Yeah, the Zoras are all gone. Well, let's go up and around over here just for kicks to see here because, you know, all the band members are now kind of back together all as well. So they're all hanging out up here now. <laughs> hey, how's it going? Don't watch the rehearsal from here. What? Why? Shh, the rehearsal's about to start. Yeah, yeah, blah, 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 blah. want to talk to you. Okay, same dialogue. Uh, okay, I'm that lucky. Well, okay, so excited indeed. Super excited. Oh man, what's he been doing indeed? Well, uh, let's let's find out, I guess. <laughs> the frame rate is so bad though. <laughs> Guy runs up on stage. I know, I know, I see that. Well, you can kind of see it from here, yeah. <laughs> hey, Mikado, don't hang around here. Da, da, da. Start the rehearsal. A new song incoming. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, uh, there's a it's a bunch of copy pasta going on. Well, maybe not, maybe not all the time, but. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I shall do so, and I will do so by- Oh, wait, I forgot to light the torches. I don't think it's necessary to light the torches, but you can do so. <laughs> as long as you've got the fire arrows. So I think I'll just light those torches just for kicks. So yeah, there's a torch over there, and I gotta go get these out over there, pop that off, and I think the best spot to stand would probably be like right over here, per se, this torch, ah! what happened there, is that, ah! ah, what is going on with the camera, okay, I think I got that one, yes, oh, camera, is it because I'm so close to the wall, whoa, jeez, is it because I'm so close to the wall or something, I'm gonna move away here, and shoot that one. No, it's not working there. Oh, there we go. Both are lit. And they're like, ooh! See, the whole stage lights up with the fire and stuff like that. I figured it just seems like the most appropriate time to do that. <laughs> so now that I got all those lit, I'll, I will go over here and chat with them officially. Hey, how's it going? Pleased to meet you. I'm Lulu. Please come to our concert in town. Hmm? I've kept you waiting just a little bit longer and I'll play a hot sound for you. Oh yeah, I'm so excited to hear that. And maybe be a part of it. <laughs> I've written a great song, so just be patient. Okay, wait, wait, was it really you who wrote that? I find that hard to believe. Can't I talk to you from the back? Or I guess not. Uh, if you want an autograph, I'll give you one after our rehearsal. Oh, okay. Let's talk to them all. This is Zora. <laughs> what have you been doing? You're late, Macau. Oh, guess what? Lose voice. She's got the back. Yes, her babies are all safe. So, uh, uh yes. Yeah, so let's. We'll just say that. You did great, Macau. Lose voice return. Yeah, Lose wants to talk to you. So go see her now. I will do so last. <laughs> <laughs> Can't talk to you from behind either. You're late, Macau. Where you? Where were you all? Well, you're skipping practice. Lou's been waiting for you. Okay, now let's talk to Lulu, and we'll get a little scene here. Macau, you came back safely. That's good. I was surprised my voice turned that lonely island into a turtle. But that song you played for me, my mother used to sing it often long ago. Those eggs are laid to remind me of that. That song was when I was a very young child, so I had forgotten it. Put you through some horrible experiences, my cow. But I'm all better now. Well, Town's concert is very soon. Let's start a rehearsal. Yeah. One, two, three. Begin. Oh yeah, we're rocking. It's like a slow jazz of sorts, complete with. Vocaloid sounds. Yes, Lulu is secretly Hatsune Miku. 
<laughs> At least that's how I'm seeing it now. <laughs> and that's all you get to see of it. Alas. Alas. I know it's a tragedy, but I guess being able to sing is a wonderful thing after all, indeed. Hey, Mikael, that song. Y no! No! Yes! Ah! <laughs> Glad I got this new song done in time for the concert. You did great, Macau. Even without any practice, you really are a musical genius. <laughs> and with that, we're all ready. I can't wait for the town's concert. Me too. We won't see that until like the credits or something, though. So instead, we are going to go flop over to the Great Bay Coast Owl statue because now that we beat the dungeon boss. There's something floating around over there. And by something, I mean a boat. Just look at the frame rate of those feathers. It's even out of sync with the, yeah, the, the music and everything. <laughs> Just, this game. This game. So, okay, let's just go flop on over here to see. See, there's a... There's now a torch lit on that island way, 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 way out in the dist- I should say the torch is lit in general way, way, way out in the distance. Well, see, like, there's this one here. It's like, here's the boat. Fisherman's jumping game. Please ride to the boat- to the fisherman's island to inquire about playing. All right, let's get on there. We're off! Oh, no, this is going to take forever, isn't it? Yeah. Let's speed things along, shall we? <laughs> Let's go over here and get this out and uh, try to aim ourselves over to where the fisherman's standing there. And yeah, we're not really close enough to hit that tree, though, I'm afraid. Let's just try and get ourselves onto that island. Come on, Red Dot. Come on, Red Dot. I have faith in you. Oh, oh no. This is really annoying, by the way. Oh! I almost had it. Yeah, there we go! Okay, so Fisherman's Jumping Game. This guy wasn't here before, nor is that boat! Now that the seas are back to normal, I've started a little business aimed at tourists. If you pay 20 rupees, I'll invite you to a jumping game that has a really big prize! If you're up for it, go to that island in the center. Alright, I am in! I've got 105 rupees to burn and to curry to get as many rupees as I need now, so yeah, I'm up for it. I still haven't gr grinded for rupees though, but details. <laughs> I'm going to light the torches on each of the surrounding four islands in a particular order. Jump to the island that has the lit torch. If you can jump to it before the torch goes out, you'll get one point. If you get 20 or more points within the time limit, you'll get a big prize. It'll cost you 20 rupees for one try. I will try it, Mr. Same Voice Guy for all the shooting games. Alright, so camera, not your friend here, so just kind of kind of look around here for the torch and jump over to that and jump back to the center immediately, look for the next torch. Got it? Good. The frame rate actually might help you here, <laughs> because it's, it slows everything down. Um, okay, there we go. At least the frame rate is consistent, it just is kind of, kind of a little jarring. <laughs> There we go, and just take a look, see over here, there we go, I'll just keep doing that until you get 20 or more. I don't know if you have to beat this twice, though, offhand. I might want to look into that after I beat it once. <laughs> oh, by the way, if you fall off, you're disqualified. It's similar to the Honey and Darlings game in that regard, I guess. So I'm at 10, making good... Oh, wait, I seen that. Making good pace. There we go. By the way, that fire texture is paper thin, in case you didn't see that. <laughs> uh, it's common in the old N64 days. Oh, there it is. Okay, I, I can only see so much of the screen at one time due to the cutoff around the edges uh, from my actual TV TV. So, yeah. Uh, that's a fault of the TV, not the game. <laughs> <laughs> I'm at 17, making excellent pace. Get to said island. There we go. Where is the next one? Oh, there it is. Go one more. 
And I'll just keep going after this to see what I can get. Well, actually, maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I should, like, leave it at 21, and then, because maybe I'll have to beat my high score or something like that. Who knows? Who knows? All I know is I should probably wait for the calendar to go out just in case. But I'm pretty sure the only reward you get from here is a heart piece. So I've got that sucker, and we shall see. Alright, that's it! What do you have to say about my victory? Uh-oh. That was a little too easy. Oh, well, here's your prize. <laughs> There's my piece of heart. How do you like those apples? And I was thinking of saving up to buy a big ship. Now it looks like I may go bankrupt. I'm not sure you can trade heart pieces for monetary value in this game. I don't... <laughs> uh, oh, oh! Well, I fell in. Well, hold on, I gotta check anyway to see if I can... if I have to play this twice, so... Eh. There was not, just as I thought. <laughs> Okay, so now what I'm gonna do over here is that since it's getting close to 3 in the morning, you can do this on any day, but I'm gonna go head over to uh, Clock Town. Oh jeez, oh jeez, like, like. Oh jeez, they've migrated to land. <laughs> so I'm gonna go over to Clock Town and play a little game with the bunny hood. Let's just put it that way, and I need uh, my ocarina to speed things along here, obviously. Uh, but basically, you remember the postman that's wandering around Clock Town? Well, at 3 in the morning, he goes over to the post office, and he, there's this little game that you can do, and why did I move away from Clock Town? I don't know. I think I'm just a force of habit and flying around to Zora Cape and Zora Hall at this moment in time, but yeah. So, <laughs> South Clock Town is obviously not the place we need to be. We need to be... I think this is where the post office is? Yes! So here we go. I think it's not open at the post office. So I'm gonna try... Yeah, see, 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Well, look, uh, the uh, postman is gonna come through here eventually. <laughs> uh, wait, what do you have to say to Azora, by the way? Oh, Azora, do you live in the ocean? What's it like? Why is Tal with you? Why, huh? Why? Do you have any problems? Any? If you do, you can tell us, bombers. Tell us! Yeah, sure, why not? Uh... Is it really... Oh, you're really gonna do the same dialogue? Oh, okay. <laughs> Alright, so we gotta wait for that postman to pop on around here, so... Uh, mm, I'm, I'm thinking... Just to speed things along here, <laughs> let's return time to normal, okay? Okay. <laughs> and there we go. By the way, to do this side quest, you're gonna need the powers of the bunny hood, most likely. I mean, it is possible to do without the bunny hood, but I wouldn't count on it, and you're gonna see why! <laughs> so let's just pop on that bunny hood here and uh, have a go at it. You know, whenever the time is right here, let's just kind of wait over here. I'll cut ahead. <laughs> okay, it's three, I do believe. Hmm. Oh, wait a second. 3 p.m. Okay, I figured it out. <laughs> I don't know why I thought it was 3 a.m., but it was indeed 3 p.m., so let's go to the night of the second day. Basically, 3 p.m. to midnight, you'll be able to do this, so that I should have plenty enough time to do that starting from... Uh, 6 p.m. here. Well, basically, if you follow the postman around, you'll see him go in here at uh, said point and... Hmm? Oh, maybe you have to be in there before he gets in there. Hmm. 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 <laughs> hmm. How does this one work again? I must have completely forgot. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm gonna fast forward the time until the morning and then go inside the building and then play the song of double time. I think. <laughs> you know, basically do it on the, the last day, essentially. <clears throat> but, you know, I still gotta go inside the post office at some time, so... Yeah, I'm not really concerned about the timer, considering that, you know... I can reset as many times as I please, so, yeah. 
Alright, so I guess I gotta wait until 9 a.m. That's, uh... That's gonna be fun. <laughs> Seven, eight, nine, and here he comes to do his rounds around the city. So that means the post office is what? Man! <laughs> All I want to do is get in there somehow. <laughs> and I have to get in there at some point. Hmm. Maybe he'll come back here at some point and I can walk in? I, in theory, he will do that, so I guess I'll wait. 10, 11, there he is, and it's 12. Let's see if we can get in. Now we can get in, yes! Though at this time, I'm pretty sure he's taking a nap. Yeah, that's what I thought. Last night I wrote a letter to myself and deposited it in a post box. I just retrieved it. This afternoon I shall deliver that letter! <laughs> So yeah, he's, he's got this thing, yeah. <laughs> he's a part of a side quest giblet of sorts, and uh, yeah, post, yeah, he's got some markings there, but yeah, that's for something else. I'm gonna try the Song of Double Time now, and hope that it doesn't boot me out of the post office, because I, I need to be here, be in here. Oh, really? Hmm. Hmm. See, the thing is, is that I need to be in here when this is, um, like, between 3 p.m. and midnight, as I said. So, I mean, I guess in theory I could, I could wait. Let's see, schedule, morning collection, afternoon delivery, evening practice. See, we're, we, what we want to do is go to that practice session. This week's motto, don't slack off the heavens and the wife. <laughs> the heavens and the wife are watching. The mayor, of course. Uh, other stuff to check here, I suppose. Da -da -da -da. Same dialogue, really? Uh, oh, now he's sleeping. Uh, oh no, at least I I heard some snoring. Uh, or is that the clock that I'm hearing on the wall here? <laughs> uh, here's his equipment, by the way. Looks like this place is about to close. Let's go outside. Okay, so... That ain't how you do it, yo, apparently. <laughs> oh, he's out. <laughs> Maybe I have to wait until he comes back. Again. Because, you know, it's, it's 1... It's 1 p.m. now, so... After that hour's nap, maybe... Maybe I'll be able to pop back in after 3 p.m. Like, maybe the door will be unlocked for that moment in time. I just completely forgot how to do this one. <laughs> I know it's about watching him more than anything, you know, following him around town and stuff. But, well, that's not really practical for a video walkthrough now, is it? <laughs> anyway, I guess I will... Uh, Wait out until the post office closes at 3. Speaking of 2! <laughs> okay, he's going in. It's 3. Nope, doesn't work at this moment in time. Okay, that's interesting. I mean, yeah, if you look at the bomber's notebook, you see it is different time frames. Maybe it only works on the first and second days, but at the same time, I was here on the second day, so. I don't know. <laughs> I'm almost positive that I should be able to go in here at some some moment in time. So let me just kind of look into this a little bit further because it's sounding like anyway I'm gonna have to reset time. So I'm just gonna do a little rupee deposit here so I can safely reset time. Yeah, and then I'll I'll see. Whoops. Well, you know what? I don't care about that last rupee. <laughs> <laughs> the quickest way to canyon is through the east gate! I'm not ready! <laughs> How many times do I have to tell you? Okay. I really got it this time. <laughs> Basically, on the first day, you can enter the post office between 3 p.m. and 12 a.m. On the second day, you can enter it um, between 5 p.m. and 12 a.m. On the third day, it's a no-go, but I, 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 could, I don't know, I just didn't, like, didn't I check that past five, 
or whatnot on the second day. I don't know. Well, anyway, let's go in now. It should work, right? Yeah, look at that. See, it works. Okay. <laughs> okay, now, I'm going to just show you this game here. Four, five, six. What? You startled me. Do not disrupt my training. In my mind, I'm running for exactly 10 seconds without looking at a clock. I was in the middle of mental training. You may make fun of me, but this is quite difficult. Will you try? Yeah, sure. Press A to start. Count 10 seconds in the precise moment you think you've hit 10 on the dot. Press A again. Okay, watch the clock. 3, uh oh, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Your time was 10.36. Dang it! <laughs> oh, almost. That was a close one. Oh, nothing. Just talking to myself. You look like you want to try again. I'll let you try it, but it'll cost two rupees. No, I, yes, I mean, <laughs> you don't have enough rupees. <laughs> You're disrupting my training. So, yeah, I, I got to get some rupees from the bank to make this most convenient. But if you want to, you could go in and out of the door and he'll reset his uh, two rupee fee <laughs> every time you do that. But, you know, just for the sake of, uh, just for the sake of speed here, I'm gonna withdraw 100 rupees. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna need all those, but it's just a little bit faster to- Oh, shoot! No! And I- mm, I wanna withdraw- not this- ah, okay. Okay! Relax. <laughs> and now, one! There we go! <laughs> yes! Voila! Alright. <laughs> <laughs> so now, remember to slow the flow of time and stuff like that as well. It'll make things a little bit easier. But remember I said that you practically need to have the bunny hood for this one? Well, when wearing the bunny hood, for some reason, it ups your senses and you're able to see said clock. You're like, what? You're like, what? I don't, I, yeah, I don't know. I don't get it either. But, well, let's give it another shot. And this time... Let's do this. Okay, see that? Look at that. See, it's it's showing the whole clock, and it also seems a little, a little more doable now, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, is it hit one nine eighty eight? Dang it! Ah, poopers. Let's try that again. I would like to try. Yes, yes, yes. I jumped the gun. I know. Oh shoot! I clicked through it. No. <laughs> well, now I know how fast I can button mash. One press. Every point one zero seconds. <laughs> I could do that a lot faster actually if I used the arm method. Okay, here we go. <sighs> focus, focus. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, yeah. I'm jumping the gun. I'm just getting way, way too excited. <laughs> yes, yes. All right, we can do this. It may be annoying, but we can do this. <laughs> All right, no jumping the gun. You wait until that 10 mark. Your time was 10 0 0. Yeah! <laughs> ah, 10 seconds. That's amazing. You are reflex reflex is suitable for a postman. Yes, thanks for showing me something impressive. I give you this. We got a piece of heart. Yeah. I can't be like this. I have to train more. More. And I showed my wild instincts, so it was added to my notebook. Yeah. Um. <laughs> and let's just see here. Um, you again. Don't keep disrupting my training. So in my head, I run for da 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 da. Um, nah, nah, I'm, I'm okay. <laughs> Instead, I'm going to just put my rupees in the bank, reset time, and end off the part. Because I'll get a real deal hard save. So I hope you enjoy, and I will see you in the next part when I continue my probably side questing. <laughs> Most likely, yeah. Alright, let's deposit.